Live City family, what is up? It is Bobby coming at you in the kitchen. And I just realized we haven't done a video, a proper video in the kitchen in the new rental house here in Pompano. So I wanna make this a twofold kind of video. Number one, I wanna do what's in my new pantry kind of reveal because the pantry cabinets are quite large here at the rental house. And we have them loaded to the gills with Bobby approved pantry staples. So let's check out that. And then I'll give you a little bit of house tour because even though it's our rental house until our house in uh, Boca Raton is being built, we're going to be here 10 months, and I think you guys might want to uh, check out the home and see what's going on. Uh, before we get rocking and rolling, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, share, my friends. That is the only way the channel keeps growing. Um, and probably the most important thing about this video is that uh, the sponsor is Seed, and it's probably one of the newest additions to my pantry. Seed is a game changer, best in class, probiotic, prebiotic. One of the biggest questions I always get is what's a Bobby approved probiotic? The problem is there's a lot of junk on the market. There's also a lot of probiotics that don't make it to your colon. The thing is a lot of the bacteria from the capsules will go into your stomach and they get exposed there and they die from the stomach acid. The whole point of the probiotic is that it gets all the way through your intestines to your actual colon and that's where seed comes in. If you actually look at the probiotic itself, it's not just one capsule. It's a capsule within a capsule. It's kind of like a dream within a dream from that Leonardo DiCaprio movie. The first uh, capsule um, dissolves in your stomach and it has prebiotic fiber, but the second one makes it all the way through your intestines to your colon and delivers 24 strains of probiotics there. Because it's so effective, it doesn't just help gut health, it goes beyond that to immune health, digestive health, skin, and more. I've been taking it now for two months honestly notice a big difference. Erica, who's holding the camera, has been taking it now for a month or so, notices a huge difference, and so does Desi. This is real deal probiotic. Um, I want you to try it out. It's actually uh, 30 days risk-free, but when you use my link down below and promo code FLAVCITY15, you get 15% off of your first month supply. I'm calling this best-in-class probiotic on the market. It is legit, and I think you're gonna like it. So, okay, let's go to the pantry and see what's in there. All right, the first thing you'll notice about the rental home is actually the cabinets go super, super deep here, which is nice. The weird thing is the cabinet came with one shelf and that was it. So like on day one, we got here, I went over to Lowe's and I got all these custom uh, shelving made here because we have so much stuff. So if we dive in here on the top shelf, let's see what's new and exciting here. So the other day, Rose and I did a video on Facebook for, um, Chicago style cheddar and caramel corn popcorn. And we use this, this is heirloom popcorn. I always get heirloom popcorn because it's made with a heirloom seed that's not only ancient, but heirloom popcorn is smaller so it doesn't get stuck in your teeth and it's actually easier for your tummy to digest. But go to Facebook. I think the video actually came out today of the caramel cheddar corn. Erica saw that video and she wanted to run over here because she's pregnant and she was getting seriously hungry with that. Um, winter time. Manuka honey is a must. Uh, we've talked about this many, many times on Costco hauls, but Manuka honey is loaded with more immune system boosting properties. Uh, but just make sure when you buy Manuka, this brand's really good. You can get it at Costco in most of the country. Um, the nice thing about it is that it's monofloral, meaning the bees in New Zealand only feed on the Manuka bush. It's not mixed in with other kinds of um, botanicals. This is such a good deal at Costco. Um, if we also keep looking here, so this is where all my, my fats are. So if you come in here, Erica, Obviously for olive oil, we go extra virgin olive oil. We have the whole video. Most olive oils at the grocery store are fake. This is one that Erica and I use. We love it. It's single estate Spanish olive oil, and it's not made with old um, olives. It's not made with mystery olives. It's only fresh single origin pressed within six hours of harvest, which is literally crazy because freshness matters. So this is great. Um, then ghee, I have two kinds of ghee. They're both grass fed. They're both pasture raised, Thrive Market ghee, and the fourth and heart. This is like the top and shelf, the top shelf one. This is more of like a well drink, right? Both are fantastic. I just tend to use this more for rose stuff just cause rose is like the queen of the castle, but both are great. And then if we look beyond there, I have a whole thing now of like simmer sauces. I might've talked about these in the past. Actually, this is amazing too. So this is virgin avocado oil. Um, I cook with Expeller Pressed, but this is a cold pressed one from Primal Kitchen and it smells like a pressed or fresh smashed avocado and the color is so vibrant. Try getting a bottle of this. Them and Chosen Foods makes it. Um, but back here, Simmer Sauces. This is a cool company out of Brooklyn called Masala Mama. They make a Vindaloo one. 
and a tikka masala one that I used for the cookbook. These are really clean. Uh, you can get them at Whole Foods. I don't think they have them on Thrive Market. Um, also back here is going to be the complex carbohydrate pasta category. So this is what I use to make like the mac and cheese. It's organic chickpeas because chickpeas are really high in fiber and protein. I mean like 12 grams of protein and eight grams of fiber and it's just one ingredient. You really want to get organic when it comes to legumes because uh, you have to deal with glyphosate otherwise. So this is great. Um, I love this one too. It's a relatively new one from Jovial. I like their brown rice pasta but this is cassava elbows. And it's made not with cassava starch, it's the whole cassava plant, uh, which is really, really nice and a great uh, complex carb uh, pasta down there too. And then, so we, I loaded up on a sale that Thrive Market had on a lot of the uh, fourth and hard ghee, but this is their ghee oil. So this is a really cool spray, but it's not just ghee. You see it's grass-fed ghee, it's avocado oil, but it's grapeseed oil, which is not normally Flav City approved, Bobby approved, but it's cold pressed grapeseed. And they have to mix that in with the ghee, otherwise it wouldn't come out properly. This is really, really good stuff. And then luckily down here at the Costco's, they have the Chosen Foods avocado oil mayonnaise, which is better than back up north. We had Sir Kensington, or I should say Sir Kensington with the monocle. This is made with high quality Mexican uh, avocado oil. And the price of this is like six or $7. It's totally crazy. Um, and then down here, if you check it out, Erica, like I'm making the pregnant lady, like do like serious acrobatics here, is more of my oils, vinegars, and then salt. These are the kind of salts I cook with, and I keep this purely as a prop. Remember, this kind of salt is a bleached, processed, refined, it has anti-caking agents. This kind of salt is completely unrefined, uh, completely raw, and has minerals that make it taste good, but also doesn't spike your blood pressure. This is my favorite, Celtic sea salt, the gourmet kosher for cooking, or the light gray salt is good too, but I like to blend it up in a blender just to make it a little more fine. So that's what's in this one right here. I'm looking forward to the next house. Of course, we'll do a tour of that. We're gonna have a big walk-in pantry. It's gonna be super cool. Um, but up here is my kind of protein and supplement area. There's two kinds of protein powders you guys know I use. I use the Laird, which is paleo, best in class, and Four Sigmatic, which is legume, because it's pea, best in class. Both are low to no heavy metals. Both have adaptogens and mushrooms in there. And I love this kind of stuff um, because when you get inferior protein powders that are cheap, they can be high in heavy metals like lead, which are very, very common in um, a pea proteins that are cheap. And then people often ask me what my favorite uh, energy shot is. I don't do that kind of stuff, but Four Sigmatic makes a focus shot. And this has more adaptogens and mushrooms, which I really believe in. But this is super cool because if you see here, it's pineapple juice um, based, but then you get the focus stuff in there. The focus really comes from the adaptogens and the mushrooms. This is the kind of stuff I like. Never, in my opinion, get a energy shot or a Red Bull. All those are not going to be Bobby approved. They're pretty toxic. Um, and what else is here? This is the most amazing keto paleo cereal from Thrive Market. You've heard me talk about it, but look at these ingredients for cereal. It's coconut meat, coconut water, and palm starch, not palm oil, just the starch. Three ingredients. Macros are amazing. This is the kind of stuff you want to give your kids. And the cool thing is about this, I try to explain to people, it tastes like crispy coconut meat. Have you had this one before, Erica? Oh my gosh. Here, here you're going to try this, Erica. I want you, insane, right? Look at this. Kids are going to love it because mm. it has that natural sweetness from the coconut. Like cookies. Exactly. You put this with some almond milk. It's phenomenal. And because it's made with coconuts, it has the uh, MCT in there. I have that sometimes as a dessert. It's phenomenal. Uh, Eric and I just got another batch of the Flav City Immune Tea back in stock. This is immune boosting, anti-inflammatory, made with best in class ingredients. It's based upon my tea recipe on the blog. Look at these ingredients. All thriller, no filler, really good stuff. Uh, shopflavecity.com, shopflavecity.com. We got a big shipment back in. Uh, so check it out, people are loving that. And then if we come down here, this is my official Laird Superfood bin here. I have all my Insta Fuel here, my mushrooms, my creamers. Just ran out of hot cocoa. This is the best in class greens powder on the market. So many people are asking me about greens powder, like, uh, uh, what's that one called? Uh, 
Athletic greens. Athletic greens, thank you. That's okay, but this is so much better. The ingredients are amazing because it's organic greens with real prebiotics and functional mushrooms. I take this about four times a week. I have to put this down because my layered basket is very heavy. And then my other supplements, this is how the seed comes in the refill. They send you the refill like that and you put it into your jar. So I don't take many supplements, but in the winter, you guys know, I take my vitamin C powder from Thrive Market with the zinc with the vitamin D3 from Code. Those are the immune system boosters. And I just started taking this too. This is grass-fed beef organs in grass-fed beef liver from a really cool company called what is it, Ancestral Supplements, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. Really, really good stuff to get natural iron and other stuff in your diet. And it's just pure organ meat. That's it. Um, and then I have some more supplements. This is my official chocolate drawer here we have the keto cups which eric is a huge fan of the hazelnut ones too and then i have my hue these are amazing the hunks but these are even better the hue hunks with the uh, cashew have you had these um i have not oh they're well i'll put these out right now so <laughs> pregnant lady can have them yeah those are great and um that's about it so right it's kind of just an area right here, super, super deep, but it's more than the condo in Chicago. So that's what's in the kitchen right now. Let's do a quick little walk around and show you the uh, rental house. <laughs> she wants a snack. Okay, Rose wants a snack. Um, so this is where I spend all my time in the kitchen. But what I love is, Erica, get my view. It's so cool. No, my view from where I stand. Oh. <laughs> Over here. Yeah, look at this view. Wow. So I got the windows here. Windows over here, palm trees swaying in the background. It's very distracting because everyone who walks by or drives by, uh, I see. But to have the sun beam in here is great. And then my workstation is right there. I always work at a standing desk. I never, ever sit. So I'll cook. I'll record videos here with me and Rose, and I'll go straight there to edit them. It's really, really nice to have this light because in Chicago, we had zero light. But what I love, too, is this. Look at the view, Erica. We'll go back there in a second the backyard with the mango trees, the pool. But come grilling and chilling time, you open the window here, you're like, order up, who got the guacamole? Boom, you throw it out there, that's gonna be super cool. I love having this in the background. Erica actually said like when you over there and you're looking at here, it kind of looks like a, a set, right? Or like a Food Network set or something like that. And then it spills over to here. We have these really cool uh, exposed um, wooden beams here in the ceiling. And we ordered a um, dining room table that hasn't come yet here. Um, but this is nice. Um, we're not used to having hard floors. In Chicago, we had hardwood. But here, it's all tile and this kind of concrete. And it wasn't very safe for Desi. So we got these mats. They're from, I think, Little Nomad or something. We put them everywhere. And the main room is kind of like where we do everything. So it kind of spills over into the living room here. Uh, we only watch TV about for one hour at night after Roasty, come here Rose, after Rose goes to sleep. <laughs> and, um, but once again, you get great natural light here. And um, that's that. And then let's go real quick on the patio here. We haven't gone in the pool yet because it's not heated and it's kind of chilly, but come around like June, I think it's gonna be a lot better. Um, but Donnie's done some great stuff with the garden here. Uh, so here's the pool, which is just really nice to look at. But this is cool. So these are two mango trees that were planted by uh, the owner of the house or the previous owner of the house 50 years ago. And come June, that's gonna be in bloom. Then this one, and there's a third one in front. So we're gonna have a ton of mangoes. Do you like mangoes, Erica? I love mangoes. So you'll come over for mango. It's gonna be fantastic. Um, and then Donnie's been planting a garden all around here. So she planted a bunch of um, dill and mint here. Uh, we have a little issue with uh, the squirrels and the hedgehogs are kind of eating all. Iguanas. Well, we thought it was iguanas, but it turns out that it's actually uh, squirrels and hedgehogs, right? So we have our uh, furniture from Ikea that we still have to get from some cushions for. You want to come to the garden real quick, Rose, and show them? Huh? Can you say hi to everyone? Hi, guys. You're being shy. You're never shy. You want to come to the garden with Daddy? Yeah. Hmm? Come on. Let's go show them the garden. And then Donnie or Baba, we should say, spends most of her time out here during the day um, with the garden. So this is really cool. This was, uh, they sent me this for free, which is nice. It's called Lettuce Grow. It's a vertical garden. So for urban environments, it's great. But look at all this lettuce. They send you the seedlings too. And this only has been here for like two weeks. We have lettuce, herbs, strawberries are gonna come out of there. And then over here is the rest of the garden. 
where we had a lot of intruders. So we got like the, the plastic owl and the plastic eagle. Oh, we got baby kale coming there. Green peppers that are being eaten by the hedgehogs or the squirrels. A lot of tomatoes and um, onions there. And uh, it's just nice because you can come out here whenever you want. And to think that like in the middle of February, you can just come out with like whatever and feel good and not have to worry about getting bundled up. It's really nice. So this is the front yard. We took some coconuts down uh, the other week and just kind of cut them open and had coconut water and that's it. So pretty fun. It's a great place to be a uh, rental, but then when the home is ready, it's going to be right by Erica. We're going to have our house down the street from each other, which will be super fun. So that's it. That's the home tour. That's what's in my pantry right now. Um, that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, check out the seed link you, down below. Get the probiotic. Use my promo code FLAVECITY15. You're going to love it. Uh, but for Erica, for Rose, for uh, Donnie, for Desi, for myself, we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later. Say bye, Rose. Bye, guys.